Frequently asked question number 36 how and when should I separate the pups from the mother plant now guys over here I have a variety of an H area and you can see the pup so you can see uh, it has reached almost uh, four centimeter and this is an ideal decent size uh, that you can separate the pup from the mother plant now you can also see that uh, the pup is kind of getting crushed uh, with the mother plant now the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all of those uh, dry leaves so that I can have a better view of the succulent and where exactly is the stem because we want to uh, separate it uh, because we want to separate it right from the stem area so now as I can see that uh, the pup is kind of infused with the stem so I have to be extremely careful it does not have a very long stem ideally uh, they also tend to have some stem along with it so what I'm going to do is I will take out this uh, damaged or the dry leaves first and then try to figure out now this leaf was slightly damaged so I'm going to take it out it's of no use now I am able to get a much better picture of where to cut the pup some more of the dry leaves so now here as you can see I hope it is visible so here you go you can see this is the stem the pink one that you're seeing very tender so ensure that your cutting material knife blade whatever it is it is completely sterile before you chop it off and then very gently reach out into it and there we go and you can see there are some more dry leaves now unfortunately this one does not have a very long stem as you can see uh, it's a very small stem which is absolutely okay now if you want to increase the uh, height of that stem you can just take out the lower leaves like this very gently because these leaves can be used for propagation you can see it's a very clean cut so very gently take them out like this you have to ensure that you have a clean cut like this now that's all about it because it's a very small pup I do not want to take any more leaves and you can see how beautiful the pup looks very healthy uh, all of the leaves are looking uh, well stressed all of those tips are perfect so I'm going to keep it aside and you can see now we also have a good uh, size of that uh, as you can see we have that good size of stem this will very soon start to put out uh, roots it is enough to put out roots now the most important thing is to let it callus so this is the most important part if at any point of time moisture water or something comes in contact with it before it tends to callus then this part that you're seeing which is very fresh will start turning darker in color so you have to ensure that you protect this at all point of time from moisture and water and the same thing goes with this portion okay we do see that there are few more pups as well but we are not going to take them out because they are very very small there is a small little mealy bug which is smashed and as you can see there are more pups as well but we are not going to be taking them out because they are very very tiny now i am i have a much better view to clean off the dry leaves so i'm going to take out those dry leaves as well whenever you get an opportunity try to clear those uh, dry leaves so now as you can see the amount of dry leaves that we have so we have cleared out all of those dry leaves and uh, never keep these dry leaves around just discard them as far as you can because these can grow mold they can grow fungus they can even uh, help uh, the mealy bugs hide so you have to store now you can see my mother plant is much more uh, fresh it is feeling much better relieved that uh, an uh, additional baggage has been separated from it so now this one has to be given a good amount of care at the same time now we have taken out the pup there is an open cut over here as you can see this is going to be the open cut even this should not come in contact with water moisture anything if it is going to come in contact with moisture or water there is a high chance that the stem will start to rot there is a high chance i'm not saying that will happen but there is a high chance and remember we do not want to take any chance when it comes to succulents so now this is going to be kept away from any moisture even the pup now if you want you can add some dry cinnamon powder for the cut so we have our dry cinnamon powder stick it on your hand 
Let's take the pup. Let's take it on your hand, just take it on the pup and just gently touch it around and completely cover it up. And that's about it. Now guys, this uh, cinnamon powder, as I said, it is optional. If you have cinnamon powder handy, you can do it. Uh, there is nothing like uh, it's compulsory to add uh, the cinnamon powder. It's only if it's available with you, it is going to help if you are going to use. Now I will add some cinnamon powder on that cut as well. It's going to be a little difficult to focus on that, but it is just going to put it on that. So I'm going to tap some cinnamon powder. As you can see, that's all about it. I'll put it in the soil as well because there are some mealy bugs. So I'm going to put it on the soil and you can see how those ants are starting to run out of the pot. The moment there is cinnamon powder, they will start to run out of the pot. As you can see, they do not like the smell of cinnamon powder. So now all I have to do is just wait. Now again guys, as I said, it's optional. If you want to add cinnamon powder, you can. If you do not have cinnamon powder, it's absolutely fine. Uh, you All you have to do is just ensure that uh, the both of these cuttings do not come in contact with any moisture and water. That's all about it. Now all you have to do is just wait. Uh, even for this uh, pup, we will have to wait for it to callus, which will take around two to three days or depending upon your environment and climate after which we have to wait for this pup to have those roots in order to put them into the soil. Now, I ideally prefer the air rooting. Once I notice that the uh, roots are present, I then go ahead and put it into the soil. It's completely up to you. But if you are putting the pup into the soil without roots, ensure that you do not water the soil at any cost. The soil has to be bone dry. If you are going to water, this cutting that you're seeing over here will start to rot because there are no roots. It cannot absorb water. So guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button and thank you so much for watching.